Now, I know you haven't heard from me for a while, for like a month and a half, and I promise I'm going to explain where I've been. Um, but at the moment, I'm just outside uh, Scuola Dante Alighieri, uh, which is in Recanati, and I'm about to start a month of school here, which I'm very excited about. I've been wandering through the town this morning, getting just a little bit lost before getting to the school, and it is a beautiful town. I'm really looking forward to getting started. So I promise I'm gonna tell you where I've been and what I've been doing, but um, I also wanna give you my first impressions of the school and show you a bit about what it's like doing my first ever day at uh, Dante Alighieri. there was like 200 students here which is absolutely obscene. Anyway I'm just about to go and do my test now which um, I'm really hoping, I haven't spoken Italian properly for like three weeks so I'm expecting to be average. We will see how it goes. I haven't done one of these tests since I did German in like March so we shall see how it goes. Okay, done, and wow, ho dimenticato quasi tutto. <laughs> non tutto, ma not, not everything, but I've definitely forgotten a lot of the, um, the conjunctive and some of the, the hypothetical times. I don't think that was my best Italian test. But you know, it's always good to revise. <laughs> if they put me in a class that is like roughly the same as I was in an Academia Lingue, then that's fine by me, I can take that. Okay, so this seems like as good a place as any to update you on my, it's so sunny, hang on. Right, this seems like as good a place as any to update you on my whereabouts over the last month. Okay, so, uh, you guys last saw me when I was with Law and Hiras in Palermo. And basically since then I've just been travelling for about three weeks. Uh, it's a tough life, I know, I'm sorry, but somebody has to do it. And unfortunately when I was away I was not filming a great deal. I did get a bit, I can, I can give you a highlights reel. Let me do a highlights reel right now. Okay, there we go, highlights reel. But now I am back making videos. I am in Recanati. I'm gonna be studying here for four weeks, but there's some trips in and out. I'm going to Berlin before too long, blah, blah, blah. I decided to come here because basically everybody said that in Bologna in August, which it is now, it is sickeningly hot. Like, you know, 38, 39 degrees, you can't do anything. Basically, everybody who's from Bologna just escapes and goes to the seaside, which is what I'm doing here. Recanati is only like 10 kilometers away from the beach, so I'm hoping to make use of that because I, I was kind of told that, you know, Recanati, it's on a hill, it's by the seaside, there'll be a nice breeze, it'll be really cool, great place to spend summer. It's actually really hot. I don't know if you can see, I, I mean, I can only assume that I look like I'm really warm. <laughs> Story of my life in this country. Anyway, right. I'm gonna head back to my accommodation now and then in about two hours time, I think we've got another welcome event, this time with drinks, which is good. Um, so we'll see how that goes. More first impressions to follow.
okay, that's just finished. There's people sort of filing out behind me. That was so much fun. It was quite cool. I like that. Anyway, aperitivo now, which is where all of these people are going. So let's go and get a drink. This is a pretty good place for aperitivo. The sort of group is split between people who have gone up here to take a selfie with the view and the people for whom the aperitivo itself is much more important. <laughs> Okay, so we just finished the aperitivo. <laughs> Io sono qui adesso con la mia nuova amica esta, ciao. <laughs> Lei è spagnola. Noi abbiamo preso l'aperitivo e adesso tutta la scuola, quasi tutta la scuola. Noi andiamo um, al supermercato per fare la spesa. Sì, per fare la spesa e per comprare le cose che non è pizza oppure pasta. Oh no, pizza è pasta ma... Mangiare a casa. Sì, esatto. <laughs> Oh, oh, hi, Tom. <laughs> Grazie. Proper door-to-door -door service, look at that. <laughs> this is the point at which I could begin live vlogging my entire shopping trip, but I don't think we need that. All right, a couple of pasta dishes and some cereal. I am sorted for the week, done. I feel like I have been very productive. All right, let me sit down and share some final thoughts before I end for today. First one is it's a very, very big school. I don't know what I expected. I obviously didn't read the website correctly because I thought it was going to be like quite a small little thing, tiny village, you know. What did the guys say? 200 odd students? Absolutely crazy. So I'm really looking forward to tomorrow to see what the actual lessons are like because that could kind of go one of two ways. It could mean that, you know, they're really good at putting people in the right group and that everybody's at the right level or it could mean that it all just becomes a bit of like a, a mush. I'm hoping it's the former. I'm hoping that I end up getting put in a really good level with a really nice group of people, but we shall see as the weeks go on. An observation actually, just while we're talking about the school, I don't know if this is like a, a Recanati thing or like generally this area or just a colloquialism within the school, but like all of the staff at the school refer to everybody as Principessa or Principe, Prince or Princess. Like, you are right, Princess, how you doing? You are right, Prince, come over here. Maybe that's just my like really bad knowledge of like Italian slang. Now that I'm down here in Recanati, is that what people say? Principessa, Principe? I don't know. Um, what else? Oh, I love the whole welcome ceremony thing. Um, that venue was incredible and apparently we're doing loads of stuff there as the month goes on. So that'll be a really cool place to use. But then they had the two guys come up and actually sing and then they welcomed everybody, you know, all the English stand up, all the Germans stand up, which I really liked. I haven't been to a school before that's, that's done that. So that's really cool. I can sense already that there's a really big um, community feeling at this school. And I think a lot of that stems from the fact that it is just such a small town. Like if you want to go and socialize, if you want to go and do stuff, then it's not that you have to do it through the school, but it's definitely going to be a lot easier to do it through the school. And so I bet a lot of people will do that. Obviously the big thing that helps that though, which I haven't mentioned so far, is that at this school, basically everybody stays for at least a month. I think it's normal to stay for a month and everybody I've spoken to so far is here for the full four weeks. But something that everybody definitely does, even if they're just staying for two or three weeks, is everybody stays in accommodation organized by the school. So I'm in a, a flat here with uh, like five other people actually. It's like, it's like Freshers Week at uni, you know, where like everybody is like making friends on their course, but everybody goes back to like their flatmates and their friends with like the four or five people from their, from their flat. Anyway, it's intriguing. It really feels more like a sort of Italian, like language learning retreat kind of thing. You know, if all the schools that I've been to so far have been the sort of quite nice school around the corner, this is the proper like boarding school, Hogwarts-esque. You're all gonna be living together, eating together, exploring Italy together, everything. All right, as you can see, I did not actually finish unpacking all of my stuff. So I'm gonna go and unpack all of my stuff before everybody else gets back and the kitchen becomes a complete nightmare. And yeah, welcome to the Canati. Okay, I will catch you guys next time. Ciao ragazzi, ciao.